Hello, I'm Bigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Tuesday and welcome to Pagan Problems. Today I have a few brief thoughts to just toss in your direction and I hope at the end of this you will share your own views on this topic. Uh, that's the hope of every video to be honest, which is why I always invite reactions and comments at the end of each video and so I would, uh, I would really be interested in hearing what people have to say. So, for today's topic, integrating the magical and the mundane, easier said than done sometimes. I mean, have you ever caught yourself working away at a problem? You're just getting nowhere. And then you realize that you didn't add a magical touch that might have helped ease things along to a successful conclusion. Or has the opposite happened to you? That, you know, you were so busy looking for magical solutions and trying to implement them that you utterly neglected simple practical, straightforward steps that would have immediately made the situation more manageable. Uh, if this is you at either event, uh, by no means are you alone. I suspect this happens to us all, and I think it's to be expected. Very few of us were raised pagan, much less raised as witches. So learning how to integrate and use both a magical and mundane approach in life is a skill that we learn to implement over time. Uh, one of the reasons why, if you're part of the Gilded group, you will see me posting magical correspondences about a variety of things or about household magic or practical things is because that has been the easiest way in my personal experience to get your brain into the habit of thinking of layers, of, of always remembering that the physical material world, every aspect of it, also has corresponding spiritual and magical properties. These things are always there, whether we are consciously aware of them or not. And that's what creates the ambient energy in a particular area. The difference between that energy just lying around and being there and us being able to make use of it just comes down to knowledge, intention, and willpower. And once we learn to recognize these layers, it gradually becomes more natural to consciously interact with our surroundings on both the material and the spiritual level. Our perceptions as pagans, and even more so as witches, do change and deepen and become more nuanced as we get further along in our our practice. We know that the world is more than just what's immediately visible to the eyes. So it's just a question of allowing ourselves to form new habits in our thinking so we don't lose sight of this, you know, seen and unseen aspects of life, at least not as often. Now, there's a uh, lot to talk about these days, and you might be wondering why I chose something so basic and fundamental to discuss today. And my primary reasoning is that during times of change and chaos, if we have a sturdy foundation upon which to stand, it can be a great help to us. And over the last few years, we've all been tested, and we've had cause to reflect about our personal strengths and weaknesses, and especially when it comes to, you know, which of our ideas hold water and which do not. Uh, one of the ideas that I really think does not hold water is the tendency of some people, and myself included, to over-compartmentalize. And I want to be uh, sure that I'm talking about this practice when it's done to an excessive degree. Because life isn't this neat, tidy affair that we can just organize into separate little boxes, and each box is its, its own thing, and there's no conflicts, when in reality, you know, a lot of things, they overlap, and they do conflict, and they can get out of hand, especially if we're trying to over-control things. So the solution in dealing with this isn't about establishing and maintaining this illusory, uh, perfect order. But it is very helpful to us to use the right tool for the right job and for us to keep in mind that it's necessary to attend to both the material and the magical aspects of life and to recognize that both are always present in everything, everyone, everywhere. So, with this in mind, what helps you to integrate the mundane and the magical in your own life and spiritual practice? What helps you keep your chin up when you realize that uh, you were going into things with one boot off? Either you were too focused on the magical or you were too focused on the material and, you know, things didn't work out so well and you had to recover. What do you do to just kind of get your spirits back up? And uh, what has helped you uh, become naturally aware of the spiritual and magical components of this physical world? Because we all think very differently, and I would find it very insightful to know uh, how other people go about this. I went a very practical route. What route did you go to? So that does it for this particular video. I hope you will share those thoughts with me in the comment section, or I hope you will come visit us on Gilded. There's a link to join the group in the description box below, as always. And uh, I, well, 
I hope you'll decide to come and visit us there and continue on with this conversation. And hopefully you'll also arrive at a time when other members are present, active on the server, and we can have a larger discussion about this. So I hope to see you soon. Uh, but that'll do it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye.